Hi everyone, today Madam going to share with you all the AXPY technique for ellipse. I am Madam Kang from Mathematics Unit, Kedah Matriculation College. The basic knowledge that we need to have before mastering AXPY technique are the formula of ellipse, that is, x minus h r square over a square plus with y minus k r square over b square equal to 1. And we need to have the assumption that a always with x and b always with y. When we have the formula of the ellipse, we need to check the value of a and b. If a is greater than b, then to find the value c, c square equals to a square minus b square, greater value minus the smaller value. Then, for the types of the ellipse, we need to check the value x and y. Because a is always referred to x, so x will become greater than y. Then, the ellipse that will be formed, x is greater than y, it will form the horizontal ellipse horizontal ellipse then x value change x value change that means x coordinate will change the value to find the foci and the vertex for the center always same take from the formula h k then for the foci f1 it is h plus c k the x coordinate change then Remember our KFC, so F plus C, F minus C uh, for the foci, H minus C. For the F2, it is H minus C, K. Then for the vertex, V1, it is H plus A, K. V2 is H minus A, K. A always with X, so when X coordinate change, we need to plus minus A. Then for the major axis, a is greater than B, so we will get 2A. This is the shape of the ellipse that we have, horizontal ellipse. Then we need to label all the important coordinates for the center, for the F1, F2, V1, V2. Next, let us proceed to the next steps of the ellipse. Same formula that we have, then we need to check our value A and B. Now, our B is greater than A. B always refer to Y. A always refer to X. To find the value C, always take the greater value minus the smaller value. So, C square equals to B square minus A square. Then, to get the types of the ellipse, B refer to Y. Y greater than X. So, we will get the vertical ellipse. Y values change that means y coordinate will change to find the foci and the vertex for the center we just need to get from the formula that is hk for the foci f1 is equal to hk plus minus c the y coordinate change f2 hk minus c the y coordinate change same for the vertex V1, H, K plus B, B with Y. So, when the Y coordinate change, we need to plus B. Then for the V2, this one is our V2. It is equal to H, K minus B. For the major axis, it is 2B. B is greater than A. Then this is the ellipse that we get. Vertical ellipse. Label all the important points. The center, F1, F2, V1, V2. What we learn with pressure, we never forget. That's all for our AXBY technique. Thank you.